Buenas tardes, señores y señores. En nombre de la facultad y de los miembros de la clase de 2020, les damos la bienvenida a la ceremonia de graduación de este año. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the faculty and members of the class of 2020, we welcome you to part one of this year's commencement exercises. We are excited and honored that you've joined us online today to recognize the Northside Pride class of 2020. This is the first part of a two-part ceremony. Today, we will celebrate the class of 2020, hear from our commencement speaker and student speaker, and formally confer your diplomas. We look forward to gathering in person for part two, conditions permitting. Part two will occur on August 1st and 2nd. That is where we will present the graduating class formally with their diplomas. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Lisa Green, Director of Student Support, who will be providing our opening remarks. Lisa? Welcome families, students, and colleagues. It's with great pride that I welcome you as we celebrate the class of 2020. My name is Lisa Green, and I serve as the Director of Student Support at Northside. Today is the culmination of hard work shown over the years, not only by these seniors, but by their families, friends, and teachers. While that is true of all graduations, it has never been truer than today. It took a village to ensure that Yes Prep could continue learning during these unprecedented times. And families, we truly want to thank you for your collaboration in supporting your students throughout this pandemic. At Northside, every graduating class earns a name, an identity. I was a teacher on the seventh grade team six years ago when we named this class the vision. It was a fitting name for this resilient, energetic and ambitious group of dreamers. The effort of this senior class has been remarkable and through challenging times like this, they have kept the vision. These 97 students represent the determination of the Northside community. The class of 2020 is proof of the promise of a college ready education. And we are excited that they will now be building upon their seven years with Yes Prep as they proceed beyond our doors and take their first steps into whatever journeys of growth, learning, and service lay ahead. The Yes Prep Northside class of 2020 should be proud of numerous accomplishments, including these facts. Together, they submitted 889 college applications. From those, they achieved a 60% acceptance rate with 537 acceptances. If you look closer within this class, you'll find two students who were awarded the prestigious dream.us scholarship, five students who won a Yes Prep alumni scholarship, five impact scholars who will be moving on to impact schools this fall, and two students who received full ride scholarships through early admission acceptances. Yes Prep Northside has over 930 students and over 80 staff members, many who have joined us online today to celebrate your accomplishments. Please remember, a pride is a pack. It does not exist in isolation. Class of 2020, you will always be a member of this pride. Your example has built a vision for every class below you, and your Northside community is proud to celebrate you and encourage your continued growth beginning today. Lisa, very fitting words. Thank you so much. The vision is important and the resiliency is important for the graduating class of 2020. At this time, I'd like to invite Yes Prep Public School CEO and Superintendent Mark DeBella to share a message from the district to the class of 2020. You see, Mark DeBella joined Yes Prep as a teacher in 2001. He has served the district in numerous roles including serving as principal of Yes Prep's second campus, North Central, head of schools, vice president of operations, superintendent, and most recently, in 2016, he was named chief executive officer of Yes Prep Public School. Please join me in welcoming Mark DeBella to share a message with the class of 2020, their families, teachers, and guests. Hello, my name is Mark DeBella and I'm the CEO of Yes Prep Public Schools and it's my privilege to welcome you all to the Yes Prep Commencement Ceremony for the Class of 2020. Seniors, today we celebrate the completion of your work at Yes Prep. And we don't celebrate it how we imagined that we would and I'm under no illusion that this virtual graduation will replace what the pandemic has taken from you. 
As I mentioned in my senior signing day message, it's not right and it's not fair what you have lost. Nonetheless, today we celebrate you and we celebrate your accomplishments. Today, when you officially become graduates of Yes Prep Public Schools, you prove that you are the toughest class in the history of and likely the future of Yes Prep. You are fighters, you are survivors, and very soon you will be graduates. And for those reasons, I am deeply proud of each of you. Seniors, you've already earned so much, yet I am driven by the belief that your best years are in fact in front of you. So now it's time to start thinking about what you'll earn next. Will it be your college diploma? Will it be to become an officer in the armed forces? Will it be to secure a high paying job that allows you to use all you've learned so far in service of others? Will it be to dream big and change the very fabric of this unjust world in which we live? Will it be to one day return to and lead Yes Prep? Only you can answer those questions and only you can commit to earning the next chapter in your story. And even though it might not feel like it in these times of being socially distant, please rest assured that you are surrounded by the entire Yes Prep public schools community, thousands and thousands of people who believe in you and who will continue to sacrifice to ensure that you do in fact earn the next chapter in your story. Class of 2020, thank you for allowing me to be a part of this special day. Thank you for your toughness that will be a living legacy at Yes Prep forever. And I sincerely hope that I will get to celebrate with you in person at the beginning of August. Uh, but in the meantime, once again, congrats on becoming Yes Prep graduates. Have a great day. Mr. DeBella, gracias para mensaje. Thank you for sharing that message to our graduates and the broader Yes Prep family. Now we will recognize the academic honors of the class of 2020. Now please put your hands together and ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Director of Academics, Rebecca Mott. Good afternoon, class of 2020, family, friends, and staff of Northside. My name is Rebecca Mott and I'm the Director of Academics at Yes Prep Northside. It has been my honor to be a part of the class of 2020's time at Northside as I watched them start as sixth graders taught them in eighth grade, and now get to be a part of their graduation. I'm so thankful to be a part of this moment and to be able to introduce not two, but three very special students from the class of 2020 as a salutatorian and co-valedictorians. The first student that I have the honor of introducing is Northside's class of 2020 salutatorian, Yasmin Luna. When you first meet Yasmin, you might consider her a nice, soft-spoken, caring young woman, but she is so much more than that. Those who know Yasmin would describe her as incredibly hardworking, passionate about learning, and deeply selfless. Like many other students at Northside, Yasmin faces daily obstacles that have the potential of hindering her success, but she has never let those obstacles get in the way of achieving the academic honors she has earned to this day. She is a model of what it means to not only be resilient, but to strive for greatness through all challenges. During her time at Northside, Yasmin enrolled in six AP courses to prepare for college, which is the most, one of the most demanding curricula that we offer. She earned one of the highest SAT scores of the class of 2020, and with a cumulative GPA of 4.22, you can safely say that she's excelled in her classes throughout high school. Most students that enroll in such rigorous courses I know. Last summer, she volunteered for 15 hours every week at a local hospital, which only solidifies the truth that she cares genuinely, not just about her family and friends, but anyone she meets as well. In the fall, Yasmin will be representing Northside at the University of Texas in Austin. Your Northside family is rooting for you, and we have no doubt that you will continue to excel and make us proud. Congratulations, Yasmin. Next, I'm Tony and Lankford. During my eight years at Northside, I can safely say that Brian has always stood out as one of the most uniquely talented students and people that I know, who is naturally gifted, but at the same time works unbelievably hard to improve every day. His passion for learning has, and will continue to, make him a standout among his peers. When I had the pleasure of teaching Brian in eighth grade, he was one of the top scorers on all assessments even back then. However, it wasn't in Brian's nature at that time to want to spread his wealth of knowledge to his class. 
classmates. But as Brian moved into high school, his empathy grew as much as his knowledge. His teachers and friends describe him as empathetic and selfless. He loves to listen to others and help them understand the material that's being taught. He's considered the go-to for countless AP students when they need help with a challenging concept. And I'm just as proud of him for this as I am for the amazing academic achievements he has earned during his time at Northside. While at Northside, Brian has enrolled in six AP courses, which is no easy feat. Not only is he enrolled in these classes, he has had amazing success on these AP ex exams, including the highest score on the AP biology test in the history of ES prep students. Brian now graduates with a staggering 4.25 GPA. Brian applied to 11 colleges, but he had his eye on one specific. Brian applied early decision, was admitted, and will be attending Rice University. I know I speak on behalf of all of us at Northside when I say that I'm so excited to see what you accomplish. Congratulations, Brian. I'd like to now introduce to you the next co-valedictorian of the class of 2020, Stephanie Rakinia. Over the last seven years, I've gotten to know Stephanie as the deeply kind, respectful, hardworking person that she's become today. It was my pleasure to teach Stephanie as a both sixth and seventh grader, and even at that young age, she was a standout among her peers. Every day, I was blown away, blown away by her drive, intelligence, and care for others. If you've met Stephanie, you forget you're talking to a high school student because her level of awareness inquisitiveness and compassion are that of someone so much older. Her deep care for others is apparent in her hundreds of volunteer hours with Camp That Love Built, and she even started a company whose proceeds directly helped the Houston Police and Fire Department Foundations after Hurricane Harvey. Stephanie Poise transcends her day-to-day -day interactions with people into her academic excellence. During her time at Northside, Stephanie has enrolled in nine AP courses, which is the most demanding curricula that we offer. Her exceptional performance on these AP exams has earned her the distinction of AP Scholar with honors, a title that few students reach. Stephanie is also graduating with an incredible cumulative GPA of 4.25, but she didn't earn this GPA by sheer luck or by beauty and pursuit of excellence is what has helped her rise to the top of her class. Although Stephanie had a wealth of options when it came to post-secondary education, she chose to attend the University of Notre Dame. Northside will not be the same without Stephanie, but our loss is their gain. Stephanie, we know that you will continue to make Northside proud as you model what it means to be an exceptional student with a heart for serving others. Congratulations, Stephanie. Northside is remarkably lucky to be represented by these three exceptional students as they continue to college. Congratulations again to Yasmin, Brian, and Stephanie. Ms. Mott, thank you so much for sharing so much about their accomplishments. We are excited for Yasmin, Brian, and Stephanie and their journey, and we say great job on your accomplishments. Ladies and gentlemen, now together, let's welcome the 12th grade level chair and AP Spanish language teacher, Mrs. Flores Castillo. Good afternoon, everyone. Buenas tardes a todos. My name is Jasmine Flores Castillo, and this year I served as a 12th grade level chair, and I have the honor of introducing a class elected speaker, Maylin Lainez. During her time at YES, she has been involved in student council, retro youth group, the praise dance team, and varsity girls basketball team, as well as the YES Prep Northside Ambassadors and IMPACT program. Sus padres dicen que están muy orgullosa de ellas, le aconsejan que siga adelante para cumplir todas las metas que se proponga, y quieren que sepa que siempre tendrá el apoyo de ellos. Her teachers describe her as a kind and determined student, a combination that is hard to find. Her friends who have stood alongside her throughout this journey say that she is that supportive friend who will lift their spirits up and edit their essays at any time of the day. They also describe her as a selfless person who always gives more than what she is given. And now they want her to know that she is very deserving of all of the blessings that have come and will continue to come her way. Malin has a strong desire to succeed and has challenged herself throughout her, her, her high school career by balancing extracurricular activities, her home life, always prioritizing her academics. I am very proud of knowing Malin and wish her the best of luck as she embarks on this new journey of life. Malin will be attending Rhodes College this fall where she will be studying pre-med with hopes of becoming an orthopedic surgeon. Please join me in welcoming Malin. Thank you. 
Good evening, family, friends, and class of 2020. My name is Maylin La Inez. Here we are, maybe not in the ideal situation, but we made it. When I was asked to give this speech, I started to think about all the memories we shared since sixth grade, from spring trips where our multiple doors had to be taped, to hot, sweaty field days, to a worldwide pandemic, we've been through it all. I'll never forget the time the girls' bus broke down on our way to Tennessee. We were all sweaty and mad that the boys were way gone ahead of us, yet it was in those times that we truly tapped into what being a family means. And of course, I cannot forget about the amazing student athletes we have. Nurse had the most competitive teams in track, cross country, soccer, volleyball, and basketball. I have to admit, the class of 2020 is taking some of the best athletes Northside has ever seen. Every homecoming game, every homecoming dance, we were making memories without even knowing. Now we stand here as graduates, and I want to congratulate you and all the people that made this moment possible. Thank you, parents, for making sure we're at school on time. Thank you for making sure we're at the bus stop on time. And thank you to all the teachers that never gave up on any of us. A special shout out to all of our friends as well. As for me, special thanks to Nayeli, Kimberly, Erica, Steven, and Alexa. We all had people part of our support system that we will never forget. Padres y familia, este es un momento de celebrar a los graduados. Un momento que ustedes hicieron posible. Gracias por todos sus esfuerzos. Gracias por asegurarse que estuviéramos en la escuela a tiempo. Le quiero dar un shout especial a mi mamá y papá que me están viendo. Los quiero mucho. Gracias por todos sus sacrificios. We have been called the vision since sixth grade. Google defines vision as the ability to see or plan the future with imagination or wisdom. I can't think of a better way to define it than that. COVID-19 has only proved to us how strong of a class we are. I want to take these last few moments to encourage you to look ahead. As we bring this chapter of our lives to an end, we welcome a new one, one that will bring out the best out of the class of 2020. As we step into the real world, I want to remind you, don't forget about the values Northside has instilled within us, passion, resilience, integrity, discipline, and empathy. The class of 2020 was always known for laughter, loyalty, and resilience. Let's carry on our legacy of being the class of 2020. I love you all. Congratulations.
What a great video, fantastic work. And thank you, Maylin, for your message to our fellow graduates. Rhodes College is lucky to have you and we are excited to see what your journey holds. Class of 2020, at this time, we would like to introduce your commencement speaker, Katie Vestal. She is a former seventh grade English teacher here at Yes Prep Northside. And in her time at Yes Prep, she also coached middle school girls basketball and was the seventh grade level chair. Katie left Yes Prep Northside to pursue her law degree and graduated from law school this semester. She is elated to share a graduation year with her own first class of students. If you hear someone crying in the background, well, that's because she is also a new mom. So congratulations. Katie and her entire family are honored to witness Yes Prep Northside class of 2020 graduates. Please join me in welcoming a new mom and a graduate, Katie Vestal. Hello, class of 2020. I taught almost everybody graduating today. Although if I didn't teach you, I'm sorry I didn't get to know you better. However, your classmates will probably tell you you're lucky. I was pretty strict. In all seriousness though, whether or not I taught you, there's something I know about everybody graduating today. And that is that you are a hard worker. Yes, prep is not easy. The teachers expect a lot of you. Then there's Wall Street and Rise and so many rules I can't count them and hundreds of hours of homework. All of that to get here today. When I thought about what I'd say today, I thought back on some memories I have from Yes Prep and I wanna share a few of those with you. My first week at Yes Prep, I saw a video that one of you made in Ms. Price's sixth grade class. You talked about what it was like to come to America from Honduras. You spoke so confidently, even as a sixth grader, and you told your story so well. I want you to know that that little sixth grader is so proud of the young woman who you are today. Also that week, I found out that I had an all boy advisory. I must have made somebody upset. Um, Y'all gave me a run for my money, guys. <laughs> but by the end of the year, I would have walked through fire for each and every one of you. And those early mornings that we shared in the library make up some of my best memories from my time at Yes Prep. Then there was my first year coaching. Girls, I'm gonna be honest now, y'all weren't that good. We definitely weren't the best team, but you went on to win second place in the district that year. And it wasn't skill. It was your heart and your grit that won you second place. Keep that determination as you go out into the world. It is your heart that matters most. Speaking of basketball, also that year, I taught the tallest seventh grade boy I think I've ever seen in my life. And you were new to Yes Prep also. I am so proud of you for going on to play basketball yourself and for killing it on the court. And finally, I thought about the first three home visits I ever did at Yes Prep. All three of those visits were for students who were new to Northside. All three of you were so scared about coming to Northside and starting all over. But that year, I got to see you grow into your own. And over the years, I got to see you grow up at Yes Prep. Congratulations to you on making it here today. Parents, we can't forget you. You got your student here today. And it was hard work for you too. As a new parent myself, I have come to understand that it is inexplainable the amount of love that you have for your child. So far, I'm only in the screaming nights and dirty diapers phases. I have not yet made it to uh, walking or talking or talking back or texting or homework and all of the other things that you put up with to get here today. And I know that you did so many thankless things to make it here today. So thank you, parents. You may have gotten annoyed with teachers like myself calling you for what seemed like silly things. But at the end of the day, you knew we all had one common goal and that goal was to get here. You did it parents, take a deep breath and enjoy this moment because it is yours too. The last thing I thought about is how not everybody who started with y'all at Northside is here today, but those who are not graduating with you will always remain a part of your journey and they will always have a place in our Northside community. Graduates, as you prepare to go into the world, I want you to stop and think about everything that you've overcome to get here today. 
you survived catastrophic flooding from both hurricanes and tropical storms and honestly, freak accidents. You've lived through the age of school shootings and you've lived through a pandemic flu now like no other virus we've ever seen in our lifetime. And those are just some of the obstacles that you've overcome on your journey. Despite all of these things that have caused uncertainty and loss in your life, you have survived and you will go on to thrive. You may ask what makes me so confident that you are gonna be successful. I know that you're gonna be successful because I've already experienced it. As your teacher, I can safely say that I probably learned more from y'all than you learned from me. You taught me how to not only be a better teacher through trial and error most of the time, and I'm sorry about that, but also to be a better human. You inspired me, and I thank you for that. It's not lost on me or any of your teachers that you're leaving high school and entering the world at a time of great uncertainty. Your first semester of college may look different than what you envisioned. It may be different than what others before you, including myself, experienced. But you will succeed. Your generation is the most equipped generation to succeed in this environment. You get to decide what the future will look like. And that's not just some cheesy saying. I literally mean the class of 2020 is the first graduate new world. Make sure that you are ready and that you're excited. Whether you're working from home, doing remote learning, or filling the jobs of essential workers, you are going to shape what this new world looks like, and I can't wait to see what's in store for us. The last thing I'm going to tell you, it's not going to be easy. Take ownership over your path. Reach out for help. Make connections. Use those connections in order to ensure that you succeed. I know you can do it. Congratulations, class of 2020. Thank you, Ms. Vestal, for your inspiring message to our graduating class. We love your passion. Seniors, this is now the time that you've all been waiting for. We will now transition into the roll call of the graduating class. To present the graduating class, please welcome one of the best dressed people we have, wearing a perfect tie, Roberto Travino, Director of College Counseling. Señora Maureen Israel, en nombre de la Facultad y Personal de ES Prep, Northside, tengo el placer de presentarle a los miembros de la clase 2020 y anunciar que han completado todos los requisitos que nuestra fundación y el Consejo General de Educación del Estado les ha prescrito. Ms. Maureen Israel, on behalf of the ES Prep Northside faculty and staff, I'm pleased to present the members of the class of 2020 and announce that they have completed all requirements set forth in our charter and those prescribed by the State Board of Education. Class of 2020, your name will now be called. As we call your names to confer your diploma, we encourage you and your family to celebrate and turn your tassel from right to left. And during this time, please share your reactions and celebrations on social media with the hashtag YesGrad2020. Let's begin. Guillermo Ezequiel Aguirre. Jesse Manuel Alanis. Janet Alberto. Hugo Alonso Jr. Jose Alvara Gonzalez. Elizabeth Arevalo. Isaías Arriola, Ricardo Ayala, Santiago Benitez Jr., Jaylin Alexis Campos, Alondra Cárdenas, Nadia. Araceli Carrion, Damien Carrillo, Brittany Loani Castro, 
Albert John Celestino. Jonathan Quatzin. Angel Compian. Caitlin Mercedes Connor. Marcos Alberto Diaz. Miguel Diaz Jr. José Ricardo Esquivel. Christian Alejandro Estrada Trejo. Teresa Estudillo. Yareli Figueroa. Amanda Galvan. Alejandro Gámez. Juan Garcia Jr. Osmar Garcia. Francisco Garza Jr. Isaac Garza. J. Anthony Garza. Austin George. Benicio George. Anaí Gonzalez. Precious Abigail Celeste Gonzalez. Jasmine Marie Jackson. Jose Jaques. Karime Hasso. Amaya Patrice Jenkins. Jason Jesse. Yoraima Juarez. Malin Nayeli Lainez Mustillo. Brian Jacob Langford Jr. Chastity Eliza Lara. John Jesse Lopez. Mallory Isabella Lopez. Carla Xiomara Lopez Ovalle. Yasmin Bianca Luna. Jocelyn Yahaira Marin. Alexa Brianna Marquez. Carla Edith Martinez. Eric Eliu Martinez. Jade Annabel Martinez. Israel Rodriguez Mata. Wilbur Alexander Mejia Lopez. Rosita Montalvo. Yesenia Montalvo González. Eduardo Moreno. Joshua Moretti. Nayeli. Guadalupe Morín Oviedo. Dania Naomi Ortiz. Yajaira Peña. 
Emily Viridiana Perez. Roberto Perez Jr. Fátima Pineda. Henry Jesus Portillo. Jennifer Puente. Emerson Ramirez. Erika Alejandra Ramirez. Michael Ramos. María Guadalupe Ramos Prieto. Stephanie Nicole Requena. Adriana Samantha Rico. Nayeli Rivera Garza. Brittany Vianney Rodriguez. Daniel Rodriguez. Gregorio David Rodriguez. Maybelline Gwen Rodriguez. Steven Rodriguez. Nair Sanchez. Fernando Sanchez III. America Sanchez Quintani. Caitlin Anaí Shendel. Donovan Shields. Daniel Sierra. Jesus Silva. Kimberly Valerie Sosa Hernandez. David Torres. Rianne Michelle Turner. Jeanette Ulloa Diaz. Mary Kate Vallejo. Brianna Vasquez. Ray Benzino Vasquez. Jennifer Nicole Velasquez. Alma Vergara. Kimberly Ismaili Sarata. As you have all met the graduation requirements set forth in our charter and those prescribed by the State Board of Education, it is my privilege as principal of Yes Prep Northside to pronounce you graduates of Yes Prep Public Schools Northside Campus. Congratulations, throw those hats. Seniors, I'm grateful to have the opportunity today, one last time, to honor each and every one of you. I know I speak for all of your teachers and all of the staff, present and former, when I say we are filled to the brim with pride for you. We are so proud of you, Class of 2020. We wish we could be there with you in person. I want to take these last few minutes together to reflect on who we are and who you've become. Vision. As our third graduating class at Northside, your class identity truly exemplifies an important stage in your lives and in our world right now. Malin did a great job earlier defining the word vision for us, and I want to take it a little bit further. 
There are three things I want to identify for you about the reality of what it means to be a member of the vision. I want to do that by diving deeper into what the word vision actually means. First, the literal definition of vision is to see. Class of 2020, you are all unique and important and you deserve to be seen and valued for who you are. Part of this next step in your life is beginning to visibly see others too for their own uniqueness and their own importance. Finding your own voice in your own identity is crucial, but you also have a responsibility and obligation as humans to ensure that you are seeing and valuing the identities and voices of others. What do you stand for? What will you fight for? This matters. Lean into your empathy with every interaction that you have. It is through building relationships and honoring others as their own authentic selves that we allow our vision to better each other and our world. Secondly, when we think about vision, we think about picturing a vision of what is to come. Class of 2020, you're a great example that we cannot predict or even begin to imagine what's to come. Since being at Northside, we've encountered multiple floods, including Harvey. We've had snow days, we've had bad air days, and now we have this COVID season. We've had teachers join us that have challenged us and created opportunities for us. We've gone on trips to China, to New York. We've had theater opportunities, amazing sports teams. You've made new friends over these past seven years, and maybe you've tried or learned something new as a result of that friendship. The inability to predict or to see what is upcoming and next can sometimes create anxiety. But if we flip that script and our mindset, we can see it as an opportunity. Life is literally unpredictable, but that's what makes it so exciting. You will continue to experience loss and pain and joy and unknowns as you move forward in life. I challenge you to lean into a mindset of opportunity. Embrace the vision that you cannot predict. Do not dismiss these emotions and experiences when the unknown occurs. Finally, when we talk about having a vision or a purpose, we talk about creation. Class of 2020, what is your vision? What will you create? You get the opportunity to step into a world now that is different than it was seven years ago when you joined the Pride and even different than it was three months ago. But you get to decide what you wanna create and who you want to become. The beauty of having a vision for yourself in your life is that you can always change and adapt it. Nothing is set in stone, nothing is impossible. You can pivot. The resilience that we've practiced together these past seven years will guide you as you create and then recreate a vision for yourself in your future. Do not shy away from change or from what may seem impossible. My charge for you, class of 2020, is to embrace what it means to have vision, both for yourself and for others. There will be paths of joy and lots of paths of sorrow ahead. I can promise you the next years of your life will turn out in ways that you can never imagine. But being a member of the vision a member of the pride, requires you to continue to remain resilient, to stand strong amidst all else surrounding you and remember what is possible. And when you need help, look to those around you. You have hundreds of people right now watching who care about you and who will help you clarify your vision when you need support. You'll be called upon to support others too. That's what we do. That's what we will always do as members of the Northside family. Vision, it has truly been my honor and privilege to watch you grow in strength and purpose these past seven years. I cannot wait to see who you become and what you stand for. Congratulations on your success, class of 2020. Thank you for sharing that message. Vision, it's important and always keep it. Congratulations, class of 2020. This is the conclusion of today's ceremony. We hope that you will continue to share photos and messages from your family celebration on social media following this ceremony using hashtag YesGrad2020. To our families and guests, thank you for joining us on today's ceremony. Thank you for your work that you've done to support our seniors over the last seven years. And especially thank you for your partnership over the past semester during these extraordinarily unique circumstances. To our graduates, you did it, you earned it, and we can't wait to hand your diploma out in person, hopefully at our graduation part two in August. Thank you for your attendance and congratulations.
esta es la conclusión de ceremonia de hoy. Siguen compartiendo fotos y mensajes en las redes sociales con hashtag YesGrad2020. Nos vemos el primero de agosto para la segunda parte de la graduación. Gracias y felicidades. Pause up. Whoosh. Congratulations. Woo!